Los Angeles. They say it's the city where dreams come true. The thing is, they never come down to the parts of town that I work in. The only dreams people I know have are nightmares. I guess that's one of the perks about never sleeping. I walk the streets late at night trying to find the next big thing. I just want to find a t-shirt that'll make me feel a little bit better about myself. I'm just searching for any sign that this nightmare isn't a reality. Wait, is that another sign? <laughs> no. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Font Leroy's Finest, and today we're going to take a look at Supreme's Week 13. They're giving us a Doc Martin collaboration this week. You're getting the Paisley studded work jacket this week, but most importantly of all, we're getting the hand tied beanie. No, that's not it. Oh, yeah, right. Most importantly, the neon sign. I'm going to be going over all of those items, but before I do, I want to make sure that you guys have access to all the same info that I do, and you can get it in the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Use the free invite in the description below to get access to all the leaks, links, pretty much anything you need to know streetwear or sneaker related happens in the Discord, and you can get in for free using that invite that I talked about before in the description below. And it pays for itself in one simple click, because it's, because it's free. Free. Free, free, free. So come on in, hopefully I'll see you there. And obviously if you enjoy these videos, like, subscribe, all that kind of nonsense. Alright folks, let's get into week 13's drop. Oh please God, no! First up, bottom of the list, this striped flannel zip-up shirt. I just think it's a basic ass shirt, and yeah, that's why it's down at the bottom. Uh, next up we have this short sleeve top with a ton of fucks to give. Sadly for this shirt, I have zero to give for it. That is brutal. Next up we have the Polar Tech beanie. Now these I think are made out of that Polar tech -y, fleecy type of material. I actually don't hate this beanie, but I really like that the cuff can flip up and it has that nice supreme spell out uh, underneath, sort of when you would be wearing it. Potentially the black one could be an item that you throw into a cart if you need free shipping, but otherwise I say keep on going. Next up we have this USA zip up hooded sweater. Not sweatshirt, this is a zip up hooded sweater. I don't give a shit. I think that's a really neat idea, however, I'm not a big fan of the look of these. That being said, I'm gonna move along. Next up we have these Doc Martens. I feel like Supreme tries to make the Doc Martin collaboration worse each and every year. The strange thing about Doc Martens is they do hold pretty well. They always sell out. I, I really don't know why. Even those weird cow ones a couple seasons ago, they sold out. So people that are into Docs are into Docs. I feel like you should really be focusing on these for personals. Please don't try to be buying these for flipping or anything like that. Next up, we have the Leopard Corduroy Camp Cap. I kind of like these, actually. I don't really like that it's corduroy. Not my favorite type of hat. But I do like the patterns on these. I think that purple one is actually pretty cool, pretty unique looking item. And I like the black one as well. Again, this is a perfect little item to throw in a cart if you're buying something else. But don't just single cart a hat, okay? Come on, get at least a keychain, something else. Have some respect for your fellow human being. Next up, the small box long sleeve tee. They make them every year. Pattern is leopard, it's very loud. These are personals, if you like them, get them. If not, let's keep on going. All right, here we go, some pretty cool jeans coming out this week, the Paisley Studded Double Knee Painter Pants. Without looking at a retail price, these jeans are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the black one definitely shows off the studs the best, but I think the denim colorway might be my favorite. I'm sure that these are more expensive than normal jeans. I can't imagine very many of these were made, and I do believe these will sell out. And as far as reselling goes, it's 100% going to depend on what the retail price ends up being as to whether these are going to be worth your while or not. But in my opinion, definitely some of the better pants we've seen this season. You got me straight tripping, boo. Next up, the Supreme Shot Shearling Bomber Jacket. This is a super nice jacket jacket. I can't imagine it's going to go for less than a thousand dollars. Definitely a big, big flex if you pick up this jacket. Uh, it's too rich for my blood. Gonna move along. You'd feel poor if you had as little money as I do. Uh, next up, we have this Polar Tech Zip Jacket. Now, actually, I like this one a lot, and if the retail is reasonable, this could be a decent piece to target. I don't really think we've had any good fleeces this season. This might be the fleece of the season. You won! 
You did it! I feel like the brown one sort of puts it all together the best. For some reason, this one's definitely calling to me. So again, if retail isn't bad, this might be a decent one to pick up in XL XXLs. Uh, next up, the Paisley Studded Work Jacket. Back-to-back -back decent jackets from Supreme here. I really like this studded work jacket a lot. I think the black colorway kind of blows the brown one out of the water, in my opinion. What should I do? I feel like the retails are going to be pretty high on these, but there is a potential that these could make really good holds down the road. Literally, again, just going to depend on what that retail ends up being as to whether it makes sense for you to pick it up for reselling or not. But I know for a fact that you're not going to be upset if you pick this jacket up for yourself. Next up, we have this Polar Tech Zip Balaclava. Um, we've had a lot of balaclavas so far this season. It's definitely a functional piece. It'll keep you warm outside when it's cold, but I do not see a whole lot of resell in the future future for these things. Next up, the highest I've seen a beanie in a long time, the hand-tied beanie. This is a really cool beanie and definitely will come down to whether the retail is a ridiculous price or not. Uh, my friend here? Thinks it's fine the way it is. Hand tied beanie sounds expensive to me. I think that that multicolored beanie could do pretty well. If it's a ridiculous retail, it's strictly a personal. But if it's a normal beanie price point, I think you should go for it. Why not? Next up, the large fuckum neon sign. Now, this sign is supposed to be a pretty decent sized neon sign. Supreme Community says it's $9,000. I'm fucking dying here! I'm fucking dying! Drops claims it to be about twenty five. I don't care how much it costs. This is an awesome piece. So yeah, huge flex, but I can't really see any resale in this thing, especially if it's $9,000. And if you want to donate one to the channel, we can make whatever terms you want. I'll just have your Instagram feed, you know, right here, if that's what you want. Just send your cash. Next up, the PolarTech face mask half zip up hoodie. These PolarTech face mask hoodies do pretty well. At the end of the day, these are basically box logos. It, it's like a medium sized box logo, but still, it, it's bigger than the small box logo. They're tonal, but the black one looks good, that purple one looks good, and if you like that kind of camo, the camo one looks pretty good too. I think an XL, XXL in black is pretty safe, but a super cool piece. What the hell, I'm gonna call this my sleeper of the week. Thanks for the heads up. And then the number one item of the week, the big logo jacquard hooded sweatshirt. Yes, the last one is a good piece, but I think this one's better. The gray red piece in XL XXL is going to do very well for you. I don't know if anything not a collaboration piece is a quick flip from Supreme anymore, but these will hold very well. We've seen other pieces like this do well in the past. The big spellouts of Supreme always do well, and all three colorways, I think, are goes in this one. Again, I think the gray one is the best, but all of them are really nice pieces. Pieces. I feel like XL's XXL's can easily mature into the 300's and further. So in my opinion, this is definitely the piece that you resellers should be focusing on this week. As I'm editing this, they added a Bravo Bell $24. Again, if you're going to buy something and you want a new keychain, this is a pretty neat one, pretty unique. If you're already buying something and you like it, pick it up. What the hell? I feel like I could conquer the world. All right, well, there you go. A bunch of really cool lookbook items dropping this week. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to go after anything. What's your favorite piece? Mine is that neon sign that I'll never be able to get. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And if for some reason this video didn't give you all the Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. Oh! Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that song? The boy that's Superman. Oh! Now why me crank that song? Now why